Hi there, Rob Mungin again. This is uh, part five of Stoker setup. And what we're going to do today is hook our Stoker up to our wireless network that's in the house. And what to do that, we're actually going to need a bridge or a gaming router. This is a WRT54G Linksys gaming router. Um, a regular LAN cable. And you're also going to need to know the name of your network or the SSID as well as the security information if you have any. If it's WEP or WPA, you're going to need to know the password and the network name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this to the Ethernet port on my computer and disconnect from all networks so we can set this up. Okay, what you need to do is read the manual that came with your bridge or your um, gaming adapter and follow the directions. Um, for me, it's the uh, first thing I want to do is check to make sure that my Ethernet port is um, set up correctly. So I go start setting control panel network connections. And let's see, local port properties. I'm going to look at TCP IP properties. Okay, obtain IP address automatically. That's what you want for this particular setup. You can't have it set static as we did before, but this is a different setup. The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you're disconnected from all other networks. So let's um, disconnect from our network here. This is the wireless onboard, the actual computer itself, this computer. Let's disconnect from that. Okay. Now I'm going to plug the gaming adapter in. And you can see here it's trying to connect with the Ethernet port. Okay. You go to the configuration page. This is all in the manual. And what I did is I set it up for my network using my network key. So now this gaming device is set up to interact with my wireless network. So now all we have to do is configure the stoker to work with this device. OK, here's the stoker. And what, what we want to do is set it up for a static IP address so we always know it's going to be the same address. So take a look at your router and find out an address that's beyond the um, ones that are the router is going to assign to other devices on your network. Or you can also, if you have the option on your router, you can explicitly say that this Stoker MAC address belongs to this IP address. And that's what I've done here. And what I've done is mapped out 192.168.1.102 um, as this device here. So I'm going to set a static IP address like we have done before. Uh, let's see. System info. IP address we want. One nine two. One six eight. One, one, oh, two. One, two, three, four. And one, subnet mask. It's got to be the same as the other nodes in the network. And that is 255, 255. 55, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. OK. Reboot. And while we're at it, let's plug in the network cord. OK. Okay, the stoker is connected to the wireless game adapter. 
and the wireless game adapter is configured to work with my wireless network, also here and stuff. We're back on the PC here, and um, you know the reason why we had to make all those settings on the PC and stuff um, to begin with was just to um, initialize and set up the wireless game adapter. So now we're going to go back into regular mode here. All I want to do is view my wireless networks, and here I am right here. Let's reconnect back up to my wireless network. And we're connected. Close out of that. Bring up a web browser. Go to the Stoker web interface. .1 and here we have it. Now when you're working with Stoker Log, as long as you can get to this page, the web interface, Stoker Log should work fine. So the first step in troubleshooting Stoker Log is making sure you can see this web interface. All right, so now these two devices, I can move anywhere in my house outside my back deck, wherever I want, because they're wireless. I don't have any uh, cables connected to them and running right to my router or anything like that. So that's pretty much how you set up wireless, wireless access with internet access in your home.